Thank you for that live report, Glenn. Speaking of an update, according to Eversource, their 6 o'clock report, 1,400 customers now without power. National Grid, over 17, or I'm sorry, over 1,500 just in Hampshire County. So we will provide more updates as the evening goes on. Now, Western Mass News has been tracking developments over the past week as several nurses at the Pioneer Valley Health Rehab Center in South Hadley are still waiting for paychecks after dealing with balance checks for months. Western Mass News reporter Rakin Lokri joins us live in studio with more on proposed legislation that could help happening in the future. Yeah, that's right, Abby. The state Senate will be debating a health care bill tomorrow. I spoke with state Senator Jake Oliveira this afternoon, who tells me the House has already passed their version of the bill a few weeks ago. And once the Senate passes their version, they hope to come to a compromise before the end of session on July 31st. Staff members at Pioneer Valley Rehabilitation Center in South Hadley tell Western Mass News for months they have been overworked, understaffed, and undersupplied, all while dealing with bounce checks, essentially going unpaid for weeks. Many stick around taking money out of their own pocket as they continue to take care of patients despite having no income to support their own families. And as we've reported, this seems to be happening at all four Massachusetts nursing homes owned by Blue Point Healthcare. State Senator Jake Oliveira tells Western Mass News one of the biggest issues they have noticed is that health care facilities across the state lack proper oversight, which is something they are actively working to fix. Health care is something that is so complicated. You know, one of my colleagues today described it as a Rubik's Cube. As soon as you think you have one side um, set, you know, you move something and it causes a reaction on the other side. As some of the staff at Blue Point facilities are finally starting to receive their owed wages, there appears to be a light at the end of the tunnel. Meanwhile, this week, the state Senate will be debating legislation that could prevent this from happening again here in the Commonwealth. We're going to be requiring greater reporting on the financial health of um, health care institutions here in the Commonwealth that should show if there are any health care gaps and in, in funding that could be concerning. We give more greater tools to the Department of Public Health and the, um, the uh, health care council that actually sets rates. Senator Oliveira tells us the health care bill the Senate plans to debate Thursday will focus on holding providers accountable, but also ensure residents have access to high quality, affordable health care. And although this bill extends to nursing homes and long term care facilities like the ones owned by Blue Point Healthcare, there is another bill that they will take up next week that focuses on those types of facilities directly and will make sure the Department of Public Health, as well as the Attorney General's office, has the tools they need to hold employers like Blue Point Healthcare accountable. Private investors, for profit investors that are investing in our health care system and making money off of people's backs and not paying people wages is unconscionable. But it also ensures that the bill that we're taking up next week identifies all of those people that are investing in our uh, long term health care facilities to ensure that the public and legislators and the regulators in DPH have access to who is actually investing in these facilities. Senator Oliveira tells us some Blue Point health care employees are starting to get paid, but there's still some back pay and that that is owed to many of them. To date, Blue Point has not responded to our request for comment reporting live in studio Regan Locri for Western Mass News.